Well, anorexia is a highly complex um, mental health um, disorder uh, where young people have an um, unhealthy preoccupation with their weight and um, desire to be thinner. Well, I think it's about 1 in 250 um, girls and 1 in 2,000 boys um, roughly into the age of about 16 or 17 will develop um, anorexia in their lifetime. So there's a whole range of social, emotional and psychological um, issues that might impact on the young person and um, therefore an eating disorder might develop. I don't think young people deliberately go out of their way necessarily to plan that they're going to become anorexic. It's something that seems to happen over a period of time. I think there's a stereotypical image of young people who, uh, for, for whatever reason, are deliberately um, going out of their way um, to cause problems, um, avoid eating, uh, creating tensions, because it naturally does cause tensions within families. Uh, there's an image that the media portrays of young girls in uh, the fashion industry particularly. Young people develop uh, an eating disorder through um, the complex interrelationship between their social and interpersonal um, um, problems that they might have, or um, low self-esteem, or um, you know some kind of depression or anxiety that might be developing. So there's there's a whole range of things, but the, the media itself does seem to have a very black and white perception. Um, I think things are getting better. I think there is an improvement. I think the services that are available to young people are better, and the access to information about um, what there is to help and support young people is better, but there's st obviously still a long way to go. I think there's been a long-standing issues of stigma attached to mental health for a long period of time and I think this is born out of lots of things to do with the media as much as anything, so where you've got magazines or where you've got television programmes, where you've got language that people use. So for example, if we've ever done any training and we've asked um, adults and young people words associated with mental health, people tend to refer to psycho, crazy, nutter, those kind of, that kind of language um, that is out there and therefore it makes it harder for people uh, when they know that they've got some kind of mental health difficulty to come forward and speak about it. I think as a nation there's, there's a higher and increasing amount of people experiencing mental health difficulties and I think the statistics are something like one in four people in their lifetime will experience difficulties. There are plenty of services out there that can offer support um, but the main thing is to go and get your help at the earliest possible time um, to be able to you know, help, help talk about those issues and, and um, have somebody offer, offer interventions.